How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. So tomorrow I plan to go fishing. However, I got to go to the taco store first because I want to I want to pick up maybe about two or three hard baits, uh, crank baits, lipless baits, whatever baits that I can find that I'll dive anywhere from let's say two to five feet. And I want to see what brands they carry and see which brands can catch fish. So it's kind of like a challenge I guess to make to make it more exciting for you guys. So you guys stay tuned. I'm heading off to Academy right now. Here we go. This is what I'm kind of looking for. Yeah, the new Guggen Squad stuff. This is the banger. This looks good right here. Dang, $7.99? Man, that is crazy. Well, let's take a look here. Uh, let's see, two to five depth of diving depth. That is perfect. Let's see, six cents is a local company in North Houston, Conroe, I believe. And I wanna try, this looks good right here, $8.99. And it dives, what does it dive? Three to six feet. I think that'll work too. I love me some Kevin Van Dam. And yeah, this looks pretty good. At $6.29, the 1.5. Let's see, this dives from three to five feet. And what is this color called? The Gizzard Shad. Yep, I think this will do really nicely. All right guys, all loaded up for the fishing trip. Got my kayak in a truck, got my tackle all ready to go. So let me show you exactly what we're using one more time. Here you go, from your left to right. I ordered it from weight size. So we have the Guggen Bait Banger. This one is 3 8 ounce. The middle right here is the KVD Strike King. This comes in at 7 16 And last but not least is the Six Cents Crankbait. This comes in at 5 8 ounce. So it's gonna be interesting to see which one of these hard baits right here will catch fish. Honestly, I expect all of them to catch fish because these are proven baits, proven brands, and I'm pretty excited because technically I haven't really seen anyone catch any saltwater fish on the Guggens. So we're gonna try our best, see if we can catch a fish on this hard bait, this crank bait, as well as all these other ones here, right here. There's really no rules. I'm gonna, I think, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time myself each bait I'm gonna use for 45 minutes. I'm gonna time it on my, uh, my phone. And as soon as the alarm goes off, we'll switch over to the next bait. So there's gonna be a lot of variables, obviously, to uh, catching fish. Uh, the area that I'm fishing usually holds fish, but sometimes a patch of that area uh, when I'm fishing doesn't have fish or bait or structure. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I do expect all of these to catch fish if the fish were available. But it's gonna be a lot of fun because I've never done a challenge like this. So here we go. All right guys, we just launched, like I said, a plan is to use a crankbait, a hard bait, a square bill, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we're going to be targeting that depth that I love to target from three to five feet and see if we can catch a fish. So as I promised, I am going to time myself each bait. It's going to be 45 minutes long. And then we got backup just in case the paddle tail and the bugs, it just doesn't come through. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch some fish today. All right, man, let's go ahead and start. We just launched. I got my medium light action rod with my Daiwa. Uh, we're gonna start off with the Guggen baits, as you guys can see right here. The Guggen baits, I have a tight straight braid. I don't really like using leader line or fluorocarbon leader line. With the crankbait, a lot of you guys might disagree with me, but I just like it better straight tight on braid. And yes, I have more of a chance of losing it because if I get hung up on a branch, but, we're gonna have some fun, man. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Let me go and start that timer. 45 minutes starting now. Uh, it might be a little bit unfair because we just launched and you maybe the fish from way downstream, but I don't know. 45 minutes, here we go, starting now. Here we go, first cast, people. And that is a bad cast. <laughs> All right, we are cruising about five feet of death. This crankbait or square bill or hard, hard bait, whatever you like to call it, is uh, can get down there easily. And um, that's the depth that we kind of want to target. I want to run parallel to the shoreline so we can get something to hit it. So we're just going to be casting all along. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to catch a fish on one of these crankbaits. But we're catching a lot of grass. I haven't seen any bait, to be honest with you. I haven't picked up any bait yet on the fish finder. So that's a little bit concerning. I like to think it's because of that... Uh, that tide, slack tide, huh? Man, square bills are so easy to fish, bro. Oh yeah, they are. It's just like you just you're just reeling it in. That's 
Twitch a couple of times. Well guys, I hate to say it, but I think we have our work cut out for us because yesterday we had a small little front come through, drop, drop the uh, well ambient temperature outside. The water temperature, it's still okay. Uh, lots of wind and we're at a slack tide. I just looked on my phone. So that's a disadvantage. We need some water current and I don't really have any water current going on right now. That's why I haven't really seen any bait. But you know, I'm not gonna make excuses. I'm gonna keep on casting. Hopefully there's a straggling redfish, flounder, or trout cruising along this bank here. And we were able to tag them with one of these square bills. But yeah, we got our work cut out for us. That's for sure. Oh, there we go. I think I got something. I hit something. Oh, dude, I hit something. Something smacked it. Oh, I just lost my grip because that was a nice thump. Interesting. Let's try that again. Maybe it's still there. Very interesting. I don't know what that was. Huh. That was a thump for sure. Oh, there she is, guys. 45 minutes have passed. Alright, here we go. 45 minutes. Check it out. We're going to stop it and we're going to switch it out now. I didn't really give you a fair shot. We'll reuse you again. Uh, but I know you can catch a fish. I mean, you're just a cool looking little bait there. So let's put this guy up and 45 minutes now. Let's go with the six cents. It's a little heavier bait, but still should dive down to five feet. Bigger profile. I'm not sure uh, what we'll catch with it, but we're going to try our best here. One more time. Let me show you guys before I cast them out. There you go guys, check it out. Nice little bait right there. All right, here we go. We're gonna start 45 minutes starting now. All right. Let's see what we can do with this bait here. Oh yeah, much bigger profile, heavier too. You can definitely feel the weight difference from the Guggen Banger. Um, I think this is called a Wake Movement L7. I'm not sure, something like that, but made by Sixth Sense and as I recall, if I stated earlier which i think i believe i did this is made close to conroe texas which is north of houston so we are kind of supporting a local business there so i'm retrieving it the same way as i did the uh, guggens a slower retrieve with uh, occasional twitches here and there uh, just trying to make sure this bait stays within that three feet water column now for being a big bait um, it's, it, it, it does really communicate to the user meaning that I can actually feel it wobbling side to side um, it, it might have to do with the rod I'm using and the line I'm using but I can also really feel the minute small thumps it does when it hits that ground so that's pretty cool and I know when I picked something up too like a piece of grass or branch or a small little twig I mean it does really communicate to you I'm really enjoying this bait here despite it being a, a big size bait Oh, there we go. That's a fish. There we go. First fish. A small little guy. Small little guy. Small little red fish on the uh, six cents. I'll take him. Look at that. Yeah. First fish finally on the crankbait. It's a good start. Yes, sir. Look at that, guys. Check it out. Oh man, these trebles. All right, all right. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Hold on. I don't get. Check that out. Nice red. On the wake. On the uh, crankbait. Twitch bait. So yeah, I can't believe it. The first fish caught is going to be on the Sixth Sense, so now we can move on to the Kevin Van Dam, see what he can do, and give uh, Guggins another try. But, uh, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> Let's restart it one more time. Start, here we go. KVD, Strike King. This is um, in, a, in line with the Guggen Bait Spanger. A little bit heavier, uh, but it's a nice little bait to throw. My first... It's my second cast at actually. Um, I can, oh my gosh, another branch. <laughs> oh, oh dude, that was a little sheep's head <laughs> that came up and got this little bait. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just saw him come up, that's funny. Oh, I just got thumped there. Wow, okay, I got thumped. Really nice thump right here. It's four feet deep, so. I don't think I hit the ground because I'm reeling in really slow. Yeah, that was a thump. Definite thump. Oh man, I missed him. He probably just swiped at it, whatever it was.
What? Oh, I just had a little flounder on. <laughs> oh man, that would have been my second fish today. Dang it, dude. <laughs> right here. That's crazy. Okay, well at least I know they'll hit this. All right, guys, you hear that? That's my alarm clock going off for 45 minutes. And we have caught nothing to nothing to bring into the boat. We did have three strikes, one sheep's head, one flounder, and we did get a thump, but uh, he didn't commit, so 45 minutes done. Cancel. All right, guys, made it back home. What a rough day on the water. I'm not going to lie. It was tough. Conditions were tough. The winds were high. Uh, the water level is higher, slack tide on top of that. We didn't see any bait, so I mean, it was just a tough day of fish in general. And on top of that, I was handicapping myself by using these crankbaits, these square bills, uh, stick baits, whatever you want to call these hard baits. Uh, I wanted to really challenge myself. I was able to get one red fish in, and technically, I didn't get skunk, but I didn't catch a keeper. So in my books, I did get skunk. But Regardless, I did learn a lot about those crankbaits. I mean, if you're going to be casting a crankbait all day long for four or five hours, it does a number to your shoulder. And honestly, I feel like maybe I kind of tweaked my shoulder a little bit. Hopefully, I can get a little massage by my wife. But anyways, um, I'm going to try to do more of these challenges. Let me know what you guys think. I know this is a long video just to catch one dink red, and I apologize. It'll get better, I promise. Uh, but I'm going to try to implement some different baits and lures on the channel to spice it up, to diverse it up uh, so you guys just don't see me throwing the same things all the time. But on top of that guys, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? But we're going to do what we're going to do so we can keep you guys entertained and informed and hopefully maybe we'll run into a magic bait or lure, I don't know, maybe. And perhaps it'll just be um, you know, this magic unicorn that'll catch a lot of fish, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys out there. Make sure you like, comment, and you got guys, please, please comment. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and sticking out all the way to the end. You guys are watching this part of the video. You are my hardcore, dedicated audience. And I love every single one of you guys. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.